Now we are going to do predicting the sign of an entropy change. So for this star seven, we are trying to decide whether there will be an increase or decrease in the entropy of the system. It says here that they're going to occur at constant temperature. So we had previously said the entropy increases when the temperature increases. We're not gonna consider that. We're only gonna consider the other possibilities, volume increases and number of particle increases and phase change. If we look at A, we find out that we have a solid and two oh, aqueous solution, and that will become one of an aqueous solution, one of a gas, and one of a liquid. Well, I can see that I'm changing from solid to gas. I'm going to think that that's going to result in there being more possibilities for position, and it should have an increase in entropy. I can double check as far as number of particles. One plus two is three. One, two, three. Okay, so I don't want to do it for particles. I'm going to be thinking about the fact that when this solid ends up becoming a gas, you're going to have a big volume increase. So I expect because we have the solid turning into a gas, we're going to have a volume increase, and we're going to say that S is going to go up, and delta S then is a positive. For B, we have a gas and another gas becoming a solid. So I have two items becoming just one item. So as far as number of particles, it's going down. But I also, more importantly, have the fact that we have two gases, which are, have lots of entropy, reverting back to something that is just a solid, which has very little entropy. So for this one, the volume is going way down because I went from a gas to a solid. And I can also say the number of particles went down. Both of these are telling me entropy is going down and that will make delta S negative. That's propane and I'm going to undergo oxidation. I'm okay, I'm burning it and I'm creating carbon dioxide and water. Gas, 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 gas. Well, they're all gases. But the number of particles is different. Over here is one plus five is six, but three plus four is seven. So in this case, since they're all gases, the important thing is that the number of gases went up from six to seven. So I expect that Entropy has gone up and delta S is positive. Now we haven't said by how much, we've just said which direction it is. Do I expect a positive or negative? When we do this, we know the entropy change of the universe is greater than or equal to zero. If we talk about something where entropy changes, we know no matter what, the entropy of the universe is going up. So even something where the entropy is going down, that's local. That's in this particular system, the entropy went down, but the entropy of the rest of the universe must have increased because overall the entropy of the universe has to go up. So this system, it went down. Its surroundings went up. When we're doing these predictions, you're gonna see entropy increase when solids melt, solid to liquid, increase in entropy. Liquid to gas, when we have a vaporization, entropy is gonna go up because they have more freedom of motion, more positions they can occupy. And then there's this idea of greater dispersion of their kinetic energies. There's more choices of what energy they have, how fast they are moving if they're a gas. They'll have more possibilities. When solids get dissolved in liquids, they'll gain freedom of motion. And so there will be an increase in entropy when something dissolves. But when gases combine to form liquids or solids or just combine to form something dense, a gas that is, has more particles within it, you're going to have less freedom of motion and you're going to have the entropy go down. If it's spontaneous, it will be having an increase in the entropy of the universe. If the entropy of the universe goes down, wait, what? That's not spontaneous, not going to happen. Delta S of the universe is made out of two things. Delta S of the system and delta S 
of the surroundings. Together, the system and the surroundings make up the universe. So if I'm trying to make sure that this goes up, it is possible for this to be negative as long as this is more positive than this was negative. How could I ever have a situation where I could have something non-spontaneous happen. I know there are things that are reversible. So if they're reversible, then there must be a way to make something non-spontaneous happen. And it turns out that comes from delta H. Here is an example. These are all gases. Three different things. Here I have three different things. But here's a gas and two of them are liquids. So in this case, the entropy has gone down for the system. But at the same time, this amount of heat has been released into the surroundings where it causes more entropy than this went down. This causes more in the surroundings than what this did going down in the system. So this is a case where the delta S, the system was down but the delta S of the surroundings was up more so that overall this increased. Three moles of stuff to three moles of stuff. And so delta S of the surroundings has to be a large enough positive value to offset the delta S of the system being negative. Here's a summary. Here we have the possibilities for something that is spontaneous. The orange arrow upward here, the third one, is delta S of the universe. These would be spontaneous situations. Well, this one, it's obvious. The system and the surroundings are both positive, so of course delta S of the universe is positive. Here's a possibility. Oh, delta S of the system was negative, but delta S of the surroundings was much more positive, so that overall we still had a positive. Or it could be the other way around, that delta S of the system went way up, delta S of the surroundings went down, but not as much as this went up. And then, of course, there's all the possibilities where non-spontaneous, because the system or surroundings were very, very much smaller in their amount of entropy when you're trying to figure these things out about whether they're spontaneous or not. It's both the system and the surroundings.